Oh, okay. So when I was like 10, maybe 11, doesn't really matter. It's summertime. And one of my friends goes to a summer camp for like three days. And he comes back and he's talking to me. He's like, dude, I met this super cool dude at summer camp that lives in your neighborhood. And you should really meet him. He's super cool. I'm like, oh, all right. So my friend comes over to my house and I meet this kid. Super cool dude. Really fun. We like rode scooters or bikes or whatever we did. I don't know. And a couple days go by and I see him outside on his scooter. So I get my scooter. I go out. Him and I are talking. And we're like riding scooters around, right? And he's like, hey, do you want to come back to my house? I got something super cool. I'm like, yeah, sure. So we ride over to his house. It's like 10 minutes away. We get there. And he's like, by the way, my parents aren't home, but my older brother is. And we're like riding the scooters up the driveway. He's like, oh, my older brother's car's not here. Oh, well, I guess he's not here. I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't care. We go inside, right? And we go into his living room. This massive TV. It's like 7,000 inches. It's the biggest TV I've ever seen. And it was, well, it was huge. And he has a, he had the new, I don't know if it was new actually. He has some PS4 and then he has the Xbox One. And I was like, oh my, you got both? That's crazy. He's like, yeah, I also have a PC, but that's more of my older brothers. I'm like, oh, all right. So I'm like, I'm looking at this PS4, the new X, or not new at the time, whatever. I'm looking at the two, the PS4 and the Xbox, and I'm like, wow, he really has both of them. He's talking to me about them. He's like, oh, I have something even cooler I want to show you. I'm like, all right. So he, like, walks away. I'm still mesmerized at the that he has both consoles, and he walks up behind me. He's like, hey, turn around. I turn around. He's got his dad's gun pointed at me. I I start freaking out. I'm like, uh, blah, 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 blah. don't point that at me. He's like, don't worry, it's not loaded. I don't think it's loaded. And he pulls the trigger in his house. It's not pointed at me, but he still pulled the trigger in the house. He's like, oh, it's not loaded. The safety wasn't even on. He just pulls the trigger. I'm like, well, why do you have your dad's gun? He's like, oh, well, in case someone breaks in, I just like having it. I'm like, it's not loaded. He's like, well, I, I didn't know it wasn't loaded. So I'm, you know, I'm still kind of freaked out that he had the thing pointed at me, not knowing if it was loaded or not with the safety off. I'm like, well, uh, well, you know, why do you have it right now? He's like, well, I told you, what if someone breaks in? I'm like, well, yeah, but no one's going to break in. He's like, well, sometimes I go outside and shoot like squirrels. I'm like, this dude's insane. So this is why gunshots just randomly go off during the day. This guy's just shooting squirrels. And I'm like, uh, you probably shouldn't do that because, like, what if you miss and hit, like, a house? He's like, oh, well, I mean, I miss, but the bullets just go in the air. This kid's just shooting bullets into the air. He probably hit, like, 16 people. Uh, so I leave. Never see the dude again, by the way. And I go to, I talk to my friend who introduced me to him. I'm like, dude, this dude's crazy. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, he shoots random squirrels. He had his gun pointed at me. I'm like, this dude's crazy. I'm never talking to this dude again. A couple of days later, or not a couple of days later, but like a little bit later, he just moves out. Never saw him again. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. GG.